This is Loopline. In this video, I want to cover the grabbing images from a harvested URL list option that Scrapebox has. So for some years now, Scrapebox has had an add-on that allowed you to grab images from the Google image search result option, but that used Google, obviously, and it required you to have proxies that work with Google, etc. So this option allows you to grab images straight from a harvested URL list. So basically, it will grab images from this list I have here, which I just searched for cloud pictures for an example. So we don't have to go with Google at all and can completely take that out of the picture. So pretty basic when you open it up here you have images, process, status, and then the URL list. I can open the target folder and then under settings here I have several options including if I want to grab what types of images, if I want to resize them, not grab them above or below certain sizes, the folder where I want to save them at, I can prefix each image with with a particular name. I can set a folder based on the domain itself that it comes from. So it creates a folder for we know your dreams.com and all the images from that domain get saved in that folder and then the same thing for so on and so forth. And we can convert them to a particular format and set the connections. Bearing in mind that if we have a lot of same domain URLs. So for instance, I have three here in the list. If I had all from one domain, I probably don't want to set this to like 200 connections and hammer away on that particular domain with lots and lots of connections. Um, and at the very least, I need to have proxies loaded. I would recommend one private proxy per uh, connection there to keep things simple. Um, and then you can go away with that. I'm just going to leave it at five because it doesn't matter for the test here. So let's start it up and we can see we can see 103 are going to be processed and how many are done. We can see where it's getting the images, how many are processed, the images grabbed, that sort of thing. Obviously some of them have a lot more images than others. And so we can see the errors here just from stopping it early. And once it's all done, I can open the target folder and we can see um, in each one of these things that it has the images set up there. Obviously lots of pictures of clouds and so so on and so forth. And so that is how you can grab images from sites directly without having to rely on the Google Image Grabber add-on. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.